Hello everyone, I'm Mina Mann. Welcome to Higher Ground, the only show dedicated to finding common ground in the contentious debate over BC's natural resources. British Columbia is a kingdom of abundance, where glaciated mountains stand over an unruly Pacific and rainforests wrap the cities. That's the way destination BC sums up the province, and we couldn't agree more. When I pause, listen, I hear it, the calling, a beacon to return to a place and myself. British Columbia. Destination BC is the provincial organization responsible for the strategic marketing and promotion of British Columbia as a tourist destination to the world. And this place is the kingdom of abundance. A land of giants. British Columbia forces you to rethink life's measures. What is big? What is power? What is important? And this stunning video called The Wild Within is just one of the many on its YouTube channel. And since November, it has racked up over 250,000 views. The exhilaration of British Columbia that reminds you of what it feels like to be alive. To find the wild within. Supernatural British Columbia. That is some beautiful footage of the province. It's no wonder millions of people from around the world visit BC each and every year. According to the provincial government, tourism contributed $7.3 billion to provincial GDP in 2013. Tourism employs over 132,000 people in the province and accounts for one in every 15 jobs. With tourism playing such a critical role in our province, we hear a lot of concern about the potential risk to the environment from resource-based activities. We wondered what some of the players from inside the tourism industry are thinking. So we reached out to Keith Phillips, the managing partner and founder of West Coast Aquatic Safaris, a guided tour and sightseeing company located up in Tofino in the Clayoquot Sound. Joining us today by Sky from Tofino is Keith Phillips. Keith, thanks for coming on the show. So tell us a little bit about your business. My, my business is an eco-marine tourism company focusing on whales and bears and going out on boats and enjoying the environment. So whale watching must be a pretty big part of your business. Yes, whale watching is uh, the bread and butter of our, our business. And uh, we also do bear watching and tours up to Hot Springs Cove at McQuinna Provincial Park. We have a mass, a high diversity of wildlife. Everything from bald eagles that seem to be neighbors of most Tofino, Tofitians as we call ourselves, uh, seals, sea lions, sea otters are increasing in their population every year. It's wonderful to see. I must say one of my favorite experiences is out there a mile or two offshore looking back at the, uh, at the sound and how beautiful it is. So your business isn't just bears and whales, it's the whole ecosystem. Yes, very much so. Um, so my, my business depends on people coming to Tofino to visit and having an interest in the environment. And we get people from around the world, North America, um, all over North America. And uh, many of those North Americans are Canadians. So we need uh, people, we need a growing economy to be able to afford to come out to do, a, do tours and visit and learn about the environment. So Keith, based on your industry, would you call yourself an environmentalist? I think I would consider myself a balanced environmentalist. And that would not be someone out protesting the pipelines, but someone that, that does care about the environment, but also cares about our economy and uh, believes that, that we are a resource-based province and that we continue to be one. However, in saying that, I feel that it's, we have an opportunity in British Columbia to set the standards, the global standards, and how uh, resources are being extracted. And I, I feel this would allow us to have a, a marriage between both environmental concern as well as growing economy. 
a marriage. Do you really think it's possible to get both sides together like that? I feel it is possible to find common ground. Um, I think BC, Canadians, we're, we're good people and we do, I think, from all aspects, uh, respect the environment. I think there's just different different ideas of what respect is. And I think those conversations are what need to take place to have an understanding of where all parties stand and to have a, a better understanding of that. And that's it for our Higher Ground this week. Make sure to visit our website at resourceworks.com, sign up for our e-newsletter, and don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For Resourceworks, I'm Mina Mann. Thanks for watching.